What is the change you would love to see in your world? Your world. Remember, we're looking into our inner world. If you make your inner world shine, then everything outside will just be the way you love. Now, I first studied yesterday and uh, one of my mentors, we were doing an exercise and I've heard, I've heard this story and I thought I must share it with you guys. It's about Gandhi and it's about this mother who took her son and she took him to Gandhi because he's a powerful uh, teacher and um, they had to hop on a train and, and uh, took five hours to get to Gandhi. Now, what happened was she wanted him to stop eating sugar. Her son was just obsessed with sugar, not in a healthy way. He would eat sugar in the morning, he would eat sugar during the lunch and in the evenings. So she knew that Gandhi's words have power. Now, after arriving to Gandhi, obviously they had an appointment, so they've seen him and she said, I would love you to tell my son to stop eating sugar because it's, this is like his obsession with the sugar. It's going to cause him health problems. And Gandhi said, come back. I can't do it right now. Go back home and come and see me in two weeks. Well, this mother gets really irritated that he's been, she, sorry, she's being sent home after getting five hour train, uh, train to him and the journey, long journey. I spent lots of money to get there. And she does that. Two weeks later, she comes back and they've been in the hall waiting for Gandhi to allow them to come in. And she says to him, well, would you tell my son, please, to stop eating sugar? And Gandhi lowers himself to the son's level and she says, stop eating sugar. And the mother just gets curious and she says, well, why could you not tell him two weeks ago? Why did we have to come all the way back? And he stops, looks at her and he says, in order for me to tell him to stop eating sugar, I had to stop eating sugar. So last two weeks, I and in order for my words to speak, to have the power to speak the truth, I have to become the words I speak. And I thought, wow, isn't that amazing? That is such a powerful me message to become some, the words you speak. Like, are we just, are we paying attention and noticing what is happening around us and what we're saying? We're actually in the process or, you know, we, we're progressing. You're a perfect being. So you're already perfect the way you are. But are you progressing and becoming the words you speak, becoming the change today in the now? So when you're talking about it, those words actually have a power. Well, I thought I showed that because it is really, really great message. And I will see you tomorrow.